Frankly, we're really sick of it. Uh, uh, Deborah and I talked about, you know, I don't think we want to do a show where you, everybody has to sit around wearing a mask and come in with a mask and be careful and, you know, all that isolating stuff. It's just going to destroy the vibe of River Dog, which is really a kind of an intense social interaction kind of place. And um, then I put on a mask and I discovered that I actually looked better with a mask on. And I thought, hmm, maybe this wouldn't be so bad after all. And uh, then I got a phone call from this uh, angelic woman down in Nashville and said, uh, is this Terry? And I said, yeah. And she said, I heard you look really hot in a mask. I'm uh, Jill Andrews and I'd, lo I'd love to come and play for you. Uh, it was it was it something like that. It was either that or it's hot as hell in Nashville. I I, I need to go north a little bit. And uh, if you if you'll wear a mask and stay away from me, I'll come and play. Something like that. I don't remember which. Ver yeah, it was something one of those. Anyway, so without further ado, let me turn this over to the wonderful Jill Andrews. Thank you guys so much. Um, I've never had so many dogs on the stage, and I'm, I'm excited to see how this goes. Are you guys going to fart? I know you guys are going to fart. It's going to happen so soon. Um, I'm so glad to see you all here. This is an epic, beautiful night um, in an epic, beautiful place. So, um, happy Saturday. <clears throat> the first song I'm going to play for you is, um, is a song... Uh, it's a breakup song. I have a few of those. <laughs> this one's called Back Together.
album called 30s. Um, thank you. You may have heard it. Um, and it's about my, my 30s, my decade of my 30s, um, uh, which was filled with a lot of beautiful times, um, raising children, still raising them, um, and, uh, um, but also uh, some tumultuous relational times and just, just, just growing and learning about myself. Um, and so um, I, uh, I released this album called 30s on March 27th at what I thought was the middle of the coronavirus era, but what I came to realize was just the beginning. Um, and so I, um, I, I wrote, I wrote this album and there's 13 songs and I also wrote a book that goes with it. It's a companion book. And so there's 13 songs on the record and each song has a story that goes with it. Um, and it's a very personal book that I, I, I just wrote from my daily experiences and, um, and it kind of gives you the background as to what the songs are about and what was going on in my life at the time. Um, and I'll show you some pictures from it later, but I don't have it with me right now. Dog, can you go get me one? Okay, I didn't think so. I'll get one in a minute. Um, this is a song from that, uh, from that album. Uh, it's called The Party, and I probably should have called it The Pity Party, but I didn't have the foresight at the time. Um, I woke up in the middle of the night uh, to, uh, to feed my infant daughter, and I was just feeling very alone um, and lonely. <laughs> and this is what came out.
So take me to the party Where everybody seems to be I don't want to be lonely I want to be wild and free So take me to the party Take me to the party now Cause I want to be happy I want to get drunk and loud I want to be happy I want to get drunk and loud <laughs> Say to call, let's keep in touch under the blue sky. Under the blue sky, I've got a radio that plays my favorite songs all through the day. Under the blue sky, under the blue sky. children. I have an 11 year old boy named Nico and a four year old daughter named Falcon and um, they're kind of badass. Um, that's why they have badass names like that. <laughs> Just kidding. I mean they are kind of badass but I mean everybody thinks that about their kids. Um, uh, so um, they're really awesome and I wrote this song about them. Um, I've written a few songs about them. More about Nico because he's older. Falcon's going to be really pissed at me at some point, but I'm going to work. I'm working on it while she still doesn't have the knowledge. Um, but I wrote this about both of them, and it's called "The Kids Are Growing Up" um, because don't they grow up too fast? <laughs> All right, come come join me. <laughs> I just love it so much. <laughs> I feel it's very symmetrical up here, right? Help me to slow down, baby. Help me to take it all in. You've got your talents, baby. That's just one of them. 
When did the clock start to speed up? Hands dizzily spin. Didn't the sun just come up and go down again? The kids are growing up, the kids are growing up too fast. How we gonna make, how we gonna make this last? It's so strange having people clap for me now. At first, I was like, "Ooh, somebody's out there." Um, after doing okay, this next song is um, another new song from my from my new album. It's called "Call It Even." I don't wanna weigh you down. I could never build you up. I don't wanna stay around just because. I could give you all I have That would never be enough See you take it Call it love Let's call it even I heard you, you heard me We had our reasons Can't go back in time this was easy as breathing. Let's call it even. You can tell me not to draw the line, tell me not to hang it up. Yes, it's hard to see the truth, and your eyes are shut. There are voices in my head Trying to talk it out They say don't take the hard way Call it now Call it now <laughs> Did I hear thunder? Should I? Let's call it even <laughs> I heard you, you heard me We had a Can't go back 
go back in time when this was easy as breathing let's call it even I don't want to weigh you down I could never build you up I don't want to stay around just because someone's got to draw a line someone's got to hang it up I guess someone's got to be one of us go Let's call it even Call it even Let's call it even You guys are the most prepared ever. Most likely to, thanks to Terry and Deborah, for telling you to bring umbrellas. Way to go. Really smart. Yeah. No, I'm good. All right, let's just keep this party going until until we can't keep it going any longer. And I hope that won't happen, but this uh this next song is a song uh from my last album. It's called Get Up Get On.
Thank you so much. I think if the lightning gets closer, I'm going to stop. Does that sound like, because I don't want to put anyone in danger. Does that sound good, Terry? We didn't really discuss didn't it fully. I didn't see any lightning, but... Okay. Anybody see lightning? There was a tiny. Yeah. There was a tiny bit. Well, okay. about thunder? Yeah, if it, if it starts lightning, go yeah. ahead and stop. Yeah, go ahead and stop? Yep. Okay. Uh, Dave and I will go up there and sing. Okay, I just want to be really safe and also not get struck by lightning <laughs> or any of you guys. So I'll let Terry take it from here as to what our game plan is. Sound good? Yep. Sounds good. Okay. Do oh. I know? Looks like we might have a cell that's passing by. We're going to take about a 15 minute break. Uh, this is actually kind of cool out here, sitting there with your. Everybody's happy, okay? Anybody miserable? Everybody's, in, you know, this is wonderful. What? Okay, I'll do that. Anyway, well, I'll put the music back on. Uh, uh, Dave and I are going to get a duet uh, worked out together. We'll we'll entertain you shortly. Um, and so we'll take a 15 minute break. Go buy uh, Jill's new CD. Yeah. Or a beautiful T-shirt, and um, uh, you just enjoy being out in nature and with other people. So uh, we'll, as soon as this thing passes, we'll start up again. You guys still doing okay out there? Oh, yeah. All right. You guys are troopers, and I love that. Thank you. Um, so um, the first song I'm going to play, the next song I'm going to play, um, I wanted to show you from my book. Um, uh, so this song is called River Swimming, and I wrote a story um, also called River Swimming. This is a picture of Jared and I. This is Jared, my husband. Um, yay, Jared. No. Um, and this is a picture of us in, um, it's a seem seemingly a river, but really it was um, a drainage ditch in one of my friend's backyards. But, you know, photography, you can kind of, you can, you can just do like a really tight shot. <laughs> we saw milk jugs, you know, floating by and things like that. And, and Jared was like, I think I stepped on a snake. Things like that that you don't see in the pictures. But anyways, um, I just wanted to show you some of these pictures because we had the best time. Um, we had the best time. I don't know if all of you can see them, but um, making this book. And uh, these, are, these are my kids from, uh, this is the song. The kids are growing up in the story. The kids are growing up. Here's Nico and here's Falcon. <laughs> all right. All right. Enough about that. I just wanted to show you the book because I'm really proud of it. You can see, like, there's gold, there's gold on it. Can you see that? There's gold on so many of my things. I just needed more gold in my life. So I'm going to play that song called River Swimming for you. And it's, um, it's just about being in love with someone and, and swimming in a river and being so happy. You're like swimming in the river in the darkness Never have to question where my heart is No need to test the water I just jump right in We're washing every worry in the water You and I in the middle of summer You and the moon gonna take me
Can you guys still hear me with all the rain? Is it still loud enough? Okay, cool. All right, just want to make sure. This one's called Here Now. Some nights I don't get tired Don't want this day to end But when I close my eyes It's here again This life is but a dream So let tomorrow come Float worries down the stream Those days are done that I wrote for Nico, my 11-year-old son, when he was just a baby. It's called Blue Eyes. And uh, I wrote this song for him because I wanted him to know that I'd always be there for him.
so much. We still doing okay? Is everybody good? Oh yeah. Okay. Um, so when I was, uh, I used to be in a band called the Everybody Fields a long time ago. Um, and it was like an indie, I get, what did we call ourselves? Um, Alt country. That's what we called ourselves. Alt country. Um, and uh, we had a, a really good run. We released three albums. And um, uh, during that period of time, we met we met a very talented group of guys called the Avett Brothers. And um, so I've known the Avett Brothers for a really long time, um, probably 13 or 14 years at this point. But um, I am... Um, <clears throat> Had the pleasure of opening for them a few times. I got to open at Red Rocks for them, <laughs> which was amazing. Um, I was just about to say, did I wear the same dress? I didn't, but I very well could have because I wear this dress like every day. Um, I sleep in this dress. It's just my thing. Um, but um, that was last year. That was last July. Um, and um, anyways, those guys are amazing and um, Seth especially is one of my really good friends and um, he uh, he sang a duet on this next song with me and he's not here to sing it with me tonight but um, I will sing it, I'll sing his part for him it's called I'm So In Love With You So 
next to me I'm holding my breath We're tangled in sheets And I want to believe I want to believe In the morning I'm still waiting For these dreams to come true Cause I'm so I'm so Anatomy a few years ago, and it was really cool because it was like one of my first songs, um, one of my very first songs to be on television. My very first song was um, one I won't play tonight, but it was like a really sad song that they played on American Idol when they were like kicking someone off the show. <laughs> and I was like, that is not what that song is about at all, but okay, I'll take it. <laughs> um, but they, uh, this one was. Um, a pretty, this one made more sense, um, being on Grey's Anatomy, just, you know, I don't know, decisions and, and death and things. Um, but this one's called Rust or Gold. <laughs>
you home Let it burn there in your hand oh, Watch it grow, watch it grow Breath of life, come and fill your lungs And give it away until it's gone oh, Hold it in and let it die Let it die, let it die Also, taking a shower is just really tricky in an RV, if you guys have ever tried it. Um, we're really learning the ropes uh, right now, and you have to be, like, immaculately on flat, level ground to be able to take a shower without any problems. So that's something that you guys probably take for granted normally in a normal shower, just, just throwing it out there. When we're on the, the slightest of hills... The drain is here, the water is here, every time. <laughs> it's always like, I'm going to take a quick shower, okay, and then I'm going to clean up the bathroom for an hour. <laughs> but it works out great, no complaints. We've been having a really fun time being all cramped up in there together, haven't we? <laughs> What'd you say? Are, the, are my children with me? We just, actually, we were just in Massachusetts, so this is our seventh show. This is my seventh show on this tour. Um, I'm doing all, just if you guys don't know this, um, I'm playing all outdoor spaces. My tour is called Outdoor Spaces and Covered Faces um, because I wanted to make sure in my wording of the tour that people knew, okay, it's going to be outside and you're going to have to wear a mask. Um, and so this is my seventh show, and um, we played... Um, we played uh, in Nashville, and we played in um, Alexandria, Virginia, and we played in, um, uh, where else did we play? Oh, uh, East Tennessee, and uh, also Exeter, New Hampshire, and blah, blah, blah. Anyways, the kids are in Massachusetts with my parents, so we played up there, too, in Massachusetts. Uh-oh. Um, and so um, they're having fun swimming in a lake right now is great but we're gonna meet up with them soon very soon and I can't wait all right <clears throat> all right here's a song um, <clears throat> here's a cover song by a band called my morning jacket Sometimes I walk around town looking at faces Wondering why their bodies go to silly places mm. Walking past carpet mills looking in Taking stills your ass that draws me in Like a Bermuda highway
Thank you. I have written most all of the songs you've heard, but um, it's fun to play other people's songs every once in a while. This one's uh, by Neil Young, and it's called Only Love Can Break Your Heart. Trying to remember 
You guys would you guys would be winning. Just saying. I mean, I guess they're kind of a little bit as one. So you guys are winning still. Look at you guys winning. It's awesome. This one, this next song is called "Wherever I End Up," and it's just a hopeful song. Um, and uh, hopefully, if you guys, if any of you guys out there are feeling, um down in in the current moment hopefully this song will help you a little bit a lot. I'm going to play one more for you guys. Um, this has been 
my total pleasure um, playing here for you tonight. And um, you guys are awesome. Thank you again to Terry and Deborah for for putting this on and for all your hard work. That is so obvious. <laughs> Um, and for putting this up. I bet you guys are happy about that. Some of you guys are like, I should have done that, but it's okay. You guys brought your umbrellas and you were so smart. Um, thank you all. Um, if you are interested in um, CDs or t-shirts or vinyl or anything, I'll be over here with my, ba my baby over there. My bae. He always winks at me like that. Kind of freaks me out. <laughs> But then I look at him and I'm like, oh, that's good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, this one's called My Love is For. You guys are awesome. Thank you. I woke him up. Thank you so much for, for all this.
see you guys soon. Be well. I can play another one if you guys can handle it. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll play, I'll play another one for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Hold it off. Yep. Heard that. All right, this one was just requested, so I'll play this one as the, as the encore. This one's called Sorry Now.